Good morning. So at the end of uh, my last session, um, I was hoping to just run a test and commit a happy path um, for importing snippets into uh, the new version of Snippet BXC. Um, but I hit a problem with the test, um, which I think I've got, yeah. Um, when running it, um, it was coming up with this no such table snippets, um, which is while while I was doing the uh, sync snippets test. Um, I've tried to debug it, um, and I'm kind of getting nowhere. But I'm gonna have another quick go. Um, and see what's what. So this is the test. Um, we are opening the database and all that kind of stuff in here. So this, this function so it starts the test framework, um, does the config stuff, Um, and then opens a database in memory. And obviously something to do with this is the problem, but we'll, we'll come to that. Um, and then passes that database into the manager's new function. Um, and this sets up the um, internal packages for the manager sets up um, yeah test does a quick test of the database that's interesting I forgot about that make sure it's up and running and then adds that database reference to the manager struct um, and then tries to do a little migration which brings up the database basically. So that will, you know, it basically starts out with a schema of zero, um, and then what's this? If the snippets table exists, schema version is a one hundred or later. Otherwise, we need to create the tables. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. So it just creates snippets, tables, all these things. I was just wondering whether there's anything in here. Because we've got the transaction. But it should commit and be done with. But anyway, yeah, so that doesn't, I mean, that shouldn't be a problem. And then we've got, uh, we just set up the service, which gets the config uh, from above. Uh, puts the database reference there again. which which we need to do in no, normal circumstances hmm. because it's the only way to kind of pass it around before we create a new manager I have to think about that. Just two references to the same database. Are we going to get into trouble there? We shouldn't do. I know it's single user, but hmm. just trying to think of reasons why. The database works, 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 stops. I can't 
think of it anyway. Um, yeah, and then it adds some snippets in this skeleton thing here. via its own service which means that it should just do transactional it begins does an add Yeah, so this does a proper, like, here's, here's a snippet, and then we convert it to a dbus version in the service so that it can be transferred back with data that's okay for going across the dbus interface. So nothing really looks wrong there. That looks okay. Um, and of course, that's all happening early anyway. And this runs... Alright, and then we kind of get here and things go pear-shaped. In the sync snippets. And in the sync snippets... That's not where I saw the problem was up. Get snippy with ID. That's where I saw the problem. So oh, let me do a um let me do a debug run and then we'll see for sure what's what. So this is running the test. And so far, so good. Um, we've got down to the get snippets with ID, and that is within sync snippets is when we're trying to test. Right, you know, we've passed in the snippet. So passed in the snippet. Uh, all you see is a reference there, unfortunately, memory reference. What's that doing? Oh, cool. Um, so we've got, yeah, we've got the abbreviation. And stuff. Okay. Um, and it's got down to here. And everything's okay. Oh no, that's set the managers database. So I'm presuming that's good. No mutex. It's not closed. 
plus step. And what's opener? Um, no maxes. There's nothing like jumping out there. That's problematic about the database connection there. It's open. Well, free con zero. That shouldn't really matter, I guess. Anyway, all right, so if I step over, what's it doing? Done it. Right, the ID is still there from before, but now we've got an error. No such table. And what's in the database? So that free con has changed. Don't know what that means. It's a reference to itself, bollocks things. Very confused. There's nothing there that jumps out as been. I mean, the only thing that's changed is that we now have a Free connection, I guess. I don't know what free con means. I'm presuming it's like these are available for connection. Because it's basically finished. I 
because it's had an error. We go, so yeah, so this will then take me back. Let me fail. And I don't know why. Because, so here we're doing gets and then more gets. Which is just like what we do here. That's fine. And then in here, we are. That's something more complex. That's the scale. It's nothing much more complex, actually. We do have the remove. Again, that's fine. What doesn't make sense is this is doing something very similar to what we're doing in the sync snippets and failing. I wonder if I, if I intentionally break this. So result equals new um, Actually, no, it's not a result I want, it's debug snippets. Okay, so if I just comment out these. So we just have empty snippets going in. Let's take out that breakpoint. And we'll 
I've just coming out that as well because it's not going to like it and that's got nothing to do there so all right so we open the database we have empty snippets coming in so this should still work but we should fail here because we're not going to get skipped three we're just going to get zeros all down so because nothing's been processed let's just run it yeah so it's got that far skipped zero is not equal to three now that's obvious because it shortcuts out early Oh, I've just had an idea. No, 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 no. What I was just thinking was uh, maybe it's this loop. But that's not true. Because if I break on here, so this is the first time through. Instantly get that. If I comment these out, do I get the same problem? Yes. Something is killing the tables or database early. It's got to be something to do with this transaction setup, surely. There's no transaction stuff here. It's all done and dusted in there, in the scale.
do another quick test here. What we'll do is we'll take out that. Now I've got another idea after that. So it's going to get past and it's going to try the insert. But it should fail because the snippet already exists. But there's a good chance it's going to go. There's no database stable. So let's run that. Ah. That's interesting though. Snippets last used ID. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, because the ID, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got two uniques here, the ID and the abbreviation. I just so happen to have an index on last used and ID as unique because the ID is unique. Um, so that's fine. OK. Not a problem. As such. So it's getting there and it's recognizing that the table still exists. So there's something about the get. So if the get is failing, See, I want the transaction to be around the attempts. I don't want to do too two passes of the data. I might as well just do it. Because I mean, you could, I mean, I might be able to say, not start the transaction. Analyze all the snippets that are coming in, see whether there are in inserts or updates required, and blah blah blah. Build a list of what to do, and then loop through them and do it. In a transaction. But.
but then I get into the messy state of I've gone through, nothing exists or whatever, but the data coming in is actually got duplicates and stuff in it. So it will fail on the inserts eventually. Whereas here I do it sequential order, check, do, check the next one, oh, roll back, all in one go. So <laughs> I wonder is if there's a different like does an SQLite in memory database Does it have a different read profile when in transaction? I shouldn't do. Let's try a couple of things. All right, we'll make. So the daemon built OK. That's the only thing that changed. What changed? Okay, so that's fair and as expected. But putting it up, it's just confirming that I'm not going mad. So I've got all these things, I've got wibble wobble there. In the new the JSON, we've got the same. We've got the wibble and the wobble. And if we import them, it just skips. No, it doesn't go bang. And if I remove them, and the import again, they're created. So it works, but not in the test. So what's the difference? In the daemon, do the config 
set a default database. Open the database. Straight into the service. which is no different to the test. Kinda. That's a thing though, isn't it? <laughs> Closing. Okay, well, this isn't going to make any difference whatsoever, but let's just make this more in tune with what we do in the thing. So I'm just going to just just to make it a little bit closer. Um, we will stick the config there. So that's creating the basic service without the dbus because we don't actually want to do dbus 
um, and then take them out. Service debuffs is set straight away. And the service snippets are set from the exact same reference, which is, I mean, it doesn't make any difference in theory. But who knows? Okay, so that's the same code of kind of. Uh, right, let's just kill this. Do all the tests because why not? Same problem. Okay, fine. So that made no difference as expected. What if we take this out? Shouldn't make any difference. Doesn't. Okay. Put it back in. Oops. So the only thing I'm left with is I need to look at the docs for SQLite. So, right, so that mentions no difference. 
Oh, hold on. Let's read this cache stuff. It's not a good connection. If Can't see this making any difference, but I'm going to try two things just to make sure. So, let's put this in. That'll make no difference. But there we go. <laughs> he says, <laughs> What the hell? Okay. So what kind of... Why? Why? Why did that work? I mean, I say work, but yeah, okay, I got a bug. Uh, but only the test. Because it's returning an int 64. Passing in an int... Um, So I presume I can just do my int sixty four three. I could do here as well. Sixty four zero. That is nuts. Okay. So, 
So, shared cache. What the hell is that about then? In memory does but how to use a shared cache. They are open to you know, blah blah blah. Separate database connections to share the same in memory database. Of course all database can share the in memory database need to be in the same process. Okay. Am I doing something silly? Right, so here I get a pointer to a database. So that is a pointer, no matter what. Okay. Then I pass that pointer in. That's the database. I use it. Does that do a copy? I can't. Well, okay. Let's try this. Okay. That is a sign in the value of that bar of that field to the same as that, and they're both pointers, so they're both pointing to the same thing. It's most definitely not doing a copy there. Right. So nothing changes yet. Switch this back. No, same thing. This is not that, thank God. I thought I was going nuts there. That should be fine. I can't imagine that that syntax is any different. So So there must be some sort of, there's some boundary somewhere, which means I'm getting two connections to the same database. don't know how.
So we're using the same. So nothing there created any new connections. So test that is back to everything passes the shared database cache. Mm. Okay. Two more can choose a shared cache. Looks here. Mm, okay. Right, so by default, it's using pessimistic locking. And that's what I'm hitting somehow, because when in tests, there's multiple threads, I guess, 
compared to runtime when it's a single. And I don't know how that that could be the case. Not quite sure on that. But if I presume that if I were to switch to pragma read uncommitted true, it would probably work because the gets could read the uncommitted. Well, they're basically not going to be needing to get a read lock. Okay. So, so uh, I don't know. All right, well, that seems to be the problem. I've got two threads hit in the same database, even though it's using the same, I mean, it says two or more database connections. I thought I only had the one and it's just been passed around. But maybe there's something weird about tests on that. Anyway, uh, I'm out of time. So uh, let's just commit this, I think. Um, and then we'll move on. So here uh, we can do that. And I'm sure at some point we'll have to go do that on other places as well. Um, but, okay, let's just put a little thing here so I don't mind myself. Open with so yeah, open DB with shared cache. Void threading issues. Okay. So when I hit this problem in another test at some point, I might remember to go back. I'll see why. Okay, so I think we are good. And we've done that. What other to do's have we got? That's fine. Right, these are the things that we're going to be doing soon. What's in the internal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. 
So that's what we'll be doing soon as. Right, quick test again, make sure everything's good. We'll just do none of the votes this time. So I can see it all. Okay, a quick sanity check. Should have just done that. <laughs> right, and up here, skipped, skipped, uh, remove, should one of each now. Yep, and then both skipped. Um, remove two. Created. Skipped. Cool. All right, so it's working. Let's commit that. And they're just to test things, that's fine. <clears throat> so, add, who do you want render sync? Snippets. Spell it correctly. Tester, because we've done very little there with um, skip test. That's it. I just want to save that off because I haven't committed for a long time. And in fact, we should push that as well. Safe. Okay. And that should be good. Um, and then in theory, that'll be kicking up a build. Here it is. Yep. So it's been built on Arch, Nix, and Ubuntu. So that's good. Cool. All right. Well, we'll come back to that um, and finish off tests and the actual functionality for sync because at the moment it's just doing the very basics right gotta go um i'll go chat to my teammate so uh thanks for watching and next time take care